Okay, let's wrap up 1-3. This will be 1-3-B, and in 1-3-B, we have two objectives here. Continuing to solve quadratics, and this time we're going to solve them using the quadratic formula, which you have learned in algebra, I believe, but let's review it, and if you've never seen it before, here's what we're looking at. If you have AX squared and a BX and a C, where A, B, and C are numbers, those are the coefficients, the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And I believe some of you know a song that goes along with that. All right. If b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, we're going to have no real solutions. We're going to have a negative under the square root here. Remember that you have to take the square root of a positive. So if b squared minus 4ac is negative, we're not going to have any real solutions, no solutions. So we can stop there if we get a negative under the square root. All right, let's take a look real quick. Oh, here's just a repeat of what I just said. If the discriminant, which is what we call the piece under the square root, all right, b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant. If that's greater than 0, we have two real solutions that are not the same. If it's equal to zero, we're going to have one repeated real solution. Okay, multiplicity of two, that means it repeats twice, but just one solution. And if we're less than zero, no real solutions. Here we go, let's try one. 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. All right, so let's just write it out. You don't necessarily need to do this every time, but we'll do it here just so we can see from the very beginning what's going on. So a is 2, b is negative 4, and c is 1. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. You need to start memorizing this formula, the quadratic formula. All right, so negative b is negative 4 plus or minus b squared. So negative 4 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Let's go ahead and clean this up. Negative negative 4 is 4. 4 squared is 16 minus 8. All right, so right away we can see in here our discriminant is going to be positive. We're going to have two real solutions all over 4. Let's keep going with this. Clean up the square roots. 4 plus or minus the square root of 8 all over 4. 4 plus or minus the square root of 8 is 4 and 2, so a 2 comes out all over 4. And since every piece is even, we can reduce these. We'll get 2s and 2s here. So we'll have 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 all over 2. Since this is in the square root and this isn't, we can't cancel anymore. That's our answer. All right, after seeing that, you should be able to do problems 51 and 61. Pause the video and give those a shot. Okay, let's take a look at, oh, sorry. This did say uh, using graphing as well. Just as a check, one thing I want to put in here is you can graph these on your graphing calculator just to check that you're doing this right. 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. And we can go ahead and graph that. And we're going to cross in two places. Let me do a zoom box here to zoom in there and really see a little better where we cross. So we cross one and two places. We could do the zeros, but they're not going to be exact. They're going to be rounded decimal answers. And so we're much better off in this situation using the exact quadratic solution. All right, so you can graph it. 2 plus root 2 all over 2 will get you about 1.73. And 2 minus root 2 over 2 will get you about, if we move over here, it will get you about 0.27. All right, so let's use the exact value. But graph it to check. All right, so what happens if we don't have 0 on one side? We need to get a, a 0 on one side. So minus that 2x, move it over so we get 0. Let's do the quadratic, negative, negative 2, plus or minus the square root of 
b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Sorry, I was just checking to make sure I did 2a on the last one. Just had that sinking feeling in my stomach that I did it wrong, but looks okay. Check me, make sure I didn't make any mistakes there. All right, so let's clean this up. We've got negative negative 2, which is 4, plus or minus 4 minus 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24. Oh, I'm going to stop right there. 4 minus 24 is negative. We can't square root that. We have no solutions. We are done. You stop. You don't need to keep going if you know it's not going to work out in the end. Right? We can't square root a negative. 4 minus 24 is going to be negative. So we're done. Don't keep going just for the sake of doing more calculations. All right, 53, something similar is probably going to happen there. Take a look. All right, so nice little summary here for solving the quadratic algebraically. First, we figure out a, b, and c. We get the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. And it's kind of nice to do that first because if it's negative, we're done. All right? If it's not negative, then B here is basically saying go all the way through your quadratic formula. All right? But it's saying as well in here that, hey, maybe you don't need the quadratic formula. Maybe we can use the steps that we learned in 1, 3a, factoring by uh, completing the square, or maybe just factoring in general, right? So try every method you have. Quadratic is really the last method to use. It's the longest, it's the hardest, but it will always work. You can always use the quadratic, but there's probably easier ways. If not, use the quadratic. All right, last objective. We're going to do some word problems here. Solve problems that can be modeled by quadratics. All right, ooh, look at this. I like it. From each corner of the square piece of sheet metal, remove a square of side 9. So we're making snips right here and here. We're going to turn the edges up to form a nice rectangular box with an open edge. The box is to hold 144 cubic centimeters. What should be the dimensions of the piece of sheet metal? Okay, so we know a couple things here. We know that this rectangle, once we have it folded up here, kind of looking like this, right? And this edge will be open from when it doesn't fold up together. But anyway, the volume of this is going to be 144 cubic centimeters. That's going to be the length times the width times the height. Okay, what's the length of this thing going to be? 9. We know it's going to have a length of 9. Okay? Now, what is the height and the, uh, so this is 9. The width here and the height here are actually going to be the same. It's this distance and this distance here. Okay. Now, if the whole thing from here to here is x, and we used up 9 from here to here, and we used up 9 from here to here, then don't we have x minus 18 for the width and x minus 18 for the height? All right, so at this point, let's go ahead and do some foiling. So we've got 9 x squared minus 36. Uh, you know what? Making it too hard. Sorry, forgetting my steps. Let's divide by 9 first. Make it a little simpler on ourselves. Got the calculator open here. Might be able to do that in your head, but if not, 144 divided by 9 turns out to be 16. So now we have 16 equals x minus 18. And hey, there's two of them, so squared. Look at this. Let's bring this home. Square root both sides. Plus or minus 4 equals x minus 18. We're going to add 18 to both sides. All right, so the answer is either 22 or 14. All right, and so we have to take a look. This is going to be the height here. Uh, sorry, x is going to be that. Now, we know that the width and the height are both x minus 18. Okay? If x is 14, 14 minus 18, that's a negative side length. That's not going to work. 
So we know that the width and the height must both, both be 22 minus 18. The width and the height are both going to be 4. Okay. So the dimensions of the piece of sheet metal then, we know that on this one, the width and the height is 4 plus another 18. It's going to be 22 by 22 on each side length. A lot of things going on on that one. If you're not clear on that one, we can go over it again in class. But think along the same ways. See if you can figure out a quadratic for the word problem on 97. You're going to end up completing the square or factoring or using the quadratic equation. One of those methods is going to be able to bring this home for you. All right, so try 97. Any other questions, we'll go over them in class. And good luck with all those problems.